Hi everyone, Aiden here with the trailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Yakima OnRamp LX and we're going to see how it fits in the back of our 2022 Ford Maverick. Now this is going to be a platform style bike rack, which means the bike sits on top of these trays and this one is going to hold the bike by the frame primarily. These cradles will be able to move up and down this mast, rotate around 360 degrees and adapt to meet your frame where it's at. So a good option for alternative frames. And there's gonna be some secondary points of contact down on each wheel with these straps pulling down at a 45 degree angle against these wheel chocks, which help give us a really solid hold in the bike. This rack does have a tilting feature. Most bike racks with the Maverick don't really use it very well just because of limited clearance, but we'll test it out just to see. There's gonna be two pins, one on the passenger side that just pulls straight out. You have to lift up on the bike rack a little bit to get it to pop out. And then a pinch pin on the left. But with those both undone, we can tilt the rack away. It's a pretty impressive tilt, but with the hitch and the tailgate sitting so close together, you're just not gonna get good clearance here. At the very least though, it's gonna give you a lot more room to step in here and maybe sneakily grab something out of the back like a helmet or a change of bike shoes. And it's nice that it's there. Again, just gives you a little bit more room, especially if you have the bed covered up with a tonneau cover. Now tucked away up by the front is going to be a gray hand knob. I'm just gonna completely undo that real quick and pull out the included ramp attachment. This is collapsed down right now, but it's gonna allow us to lower the bike down a lot more easily. To expand it, just pop off the other hand knob on the back, separate the two pieces and line up the studs with these two holes at the end and use both hand knobs to lock it in. These teeth will line up with some notches at the end of our trays. So I'll just line this up with our front tray. And you do have to feed it in at a high angle, so right now our tire is getting in the way a bit here, but you can kind of squeeze it in, and once you tilt it down, it does lock it in. So to unload the bike, we'll just start with those bottom wheel straps, pressing the gray levers and pulling those ratcheting straps out. And I'm gonna just tuck them away to some slots on our trays so I don't roll over them later. And just do that on both sides. We do this first because these aren't holding the bike upright, so it doesn't really matter if I take them off right now. Once I've got those done and I do this strap around the top cradle, I have to hold onto the bike. That way it doesn't tip into the Maverick. But undo the strap, rotate that out of the way, and if you wanna take it a step further, you can try to fold the mask down, but it's hard to do one-handed, so you're probably just gonna have to tilt it to get your pedal past the mast. And at that point, you can just wheel it down all the way to the floor. Here's a better look at that pin I was trying to pull for the mast. You have to keep that held while pushing the mast down, so that's what makes it a little bit awkward. And of course, at this point, we can take that ramp, collapse it back down, and store it back on the rack. That's my one complaint is that having to collapse it down and separate it into two pieces, it's just kind of awkward. And for me, that's just gonna take a little bit more time and effort. And because of where that center mounting point is, you really should collapse it down fully like this between uses. Otherwise it's gonna be shaken around. It's not gonna be very stable, but it is nice that it stores on the rack and it doesn't take up much space to do that. A few measurements to get from the bumper of the Maverick to the furthest point out. We're looking at 29 and a half inches. So it does add a bit of length to the vehicle and your ground clearance at the back end, you're gonna be looking around 21 inches. The trays do stack up. So you do gain some clearance as you go back, which is nice. And if we go to those same pins we pulled before, we can fold the rack upright into a more stored position where we can just repin it and 
get some saved space. So if you like to drive around with your bike rack in the hitch between uses, you can. And in this form, it's only gonna stick out about 11 inches from the bumper. For some things in the folded position, your license plate is mostly visible, but being so low down like that, it's gonna be partially obstructed. Your tail lights are in totally good shape, all visible there. But with how bulky the center of the rack is, it will be completely blocking the backup camera. Down at the hitch, it's working with our two inch by two inch receiver tube and comes with a locking anti-rattle bolt to keep things solid and secure in that hitch. So overall, I'd say it's a pretty solid option. If you're looking at a bike rack for the Maverick, I think it will work, but tailgate clearance is a bit rough for me and the clunkiness of the ramp is not my favorite thing. If you're looking for a better ramp, I'd recommend the Hollywood Racks Destination e-bike rack, just because I think their ramp is a lot smoother, although it won't store on the bike rack, so you have to throw it in the bed or something. But if you're looking for something that works with the tailgate, I'd strongly recommend something like the Saris MHS Duo. That's going to be something that just clears the tailgate and still gives you a pretty solid weight capacity. But if you liked everything you saw here today, this is just our quick look at the Yakima on-ramp LX on the back of our 2022 Ford Maverick. My name's Aiden and thanks for watching.